my beauties welcome back to my channel so today I have my February favorites and I'm excited because I got to try out a lot of different products and mostly because my wedding was in February so I was trying so many products to see what I really wanted to use on my wedding day and I came across a lot of great stuff so if you guys would like to know what I've been really into the month of February then just keep on watching Okay, the first thing I want to talk about is a primer. Now this one is from Smashbox. It's called the Photo Finish Primer Water, which is something completely different than what I use. I usually use a primer that's not water form. So when I was in Sephora, I clearly saw it and I was like, I have to have this. It's something totally different. It says it's silicone free, alcohol free, and oil free. I've been using this non-stop ever since I bought it. And as you guys can tell, I haven't really like used a lot of it because you really don't need a lot as far as like hiding your pores and any of that stuff i really don't see a huge difference but i have been using other products to help me minimize the appearance of my pores so that with that being said i don't find a problem with this primer doing something to my pores or not so i just overall been loving it mostly because when i apply really matte foundations as you all know i have an oily t-zone i tend to have dry patches around my face so this primer really helps me like absorb all the moisture into those areas and that way when I apply my matte foundation it doesn't clinch onto those dry patches. Then the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is a foundation. Now I'm wearing this on my face today and I just love the coverage and everything. So this is the Frankie Rose Matte Perfection Foundation. I'm in the shade Olive for those of you wondering. Um, pretty much this is a very matte foundation. It's going to give you a really full coverage as you guys saw in my previous tutorial. It really gives a full coverage like it's no joke you can build it up it's very lightweight I love it for every day why because it just feels really lightweight and it still gives you that full coverage that you want it doesn't really dry your face whatsoever even though it is a matte foundation but I just really love the finish of it it's just amazing i love that i could use it with a beauty blender and also a brush and you guys know i love my sigma brushes so definitely i recommend this foundation um i feel like it could be for everybody it's not super drying um so even probably dry skin people can wear this foundation. Next, I want to talk about an eyeliner. Now, this one is from Tarte. It's called the Tartiest Eyeliner. It's a clay paint liner, actually. Um, and it comes with a brush when you buy it. And this is the brush that it comes with. And let me tell you guys, this brush is amazing. Overall, this Tarte did such an amazing job. I love it so much. I'm using it today on my eyes. I have not been able to stop using this eyeliner. So creamy. It just like, glides on your eye like a dream. And best of all is that with this brush, you could really get a precise application of it. So even though it's very creamy, with this brush, it won't not... It will not make it go all over the place. So it's very great. It's very sturdy, I would say. Um, it's just overall an amazing thing that Tarte did. And I'm so happy they sent it to me. Next, I have a few palettes. One of them is the Too Faced Semi-Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette. And I've just been loving it. Now, a lot of people have been saying so many bad reviews about this because supposedly it's not super pigmented or whatsoever. I don't find a problem with it. I actually think it's very pigmented. The only shade I find that it's not pigmented at all is this one, which is Pink Sugar. And pretty much you could just use this on top of another eyeshadow just to give it that um, shimmery effect or whatever. But overall, everything else is very pigmented. I ended up using this one because that's another one that they said that it wasn't pigmented completely pigmented on me i just love it i mean look at that you guys it's very pigmented you guys probably already know the reason why i love this it has a lot of warm tones and i love my warm tones because obviously i am an olive skin tone i love that it smells like chocolate <sighs> i just want to eat it <laughs> then the next palette i want to talk to you guys about is the kat von d shade and light palette oh my god you guys I've heard so many reviews about this. Everybody's hyping about it. Everybody's going crazy for it. So I thought I should get it. I had a gift card and I was like, you know what? I'm going to splurge on it. I'm going to go ahead and spend the $50 on this. And so that's what I did. I went ahead and bought it. Is it worth it? No. I say it's not worth it. I say that you should just stick to the Anastasia Contour Kit shades. Those are amazing. This one, I just feel like it's just... 
another one of those bang way things that one company comes out with one thing and all the other companies want to do the same thing so this is what i feel like it's just the same thing the reason i'm including it in my february favorites is because i really love the texture of it i am wearing this all over my face this is what i contoured and set my whole concealer with i freaking love this stuff it's so creamy um it's just like the only thing that i don't like is that you can't replace these and if you have to replace one, you have to buy a whole new palette of this. It's not like the Anastasia ones. Um, so that's the only thing I hate about it. And also the price. I think it's too overpriced, but then again, it's Kat Von D. But overall, I freaking love it. Like I said, I purchased it with a gift card, so it doesn't really hurt me that I got it. But still... Um, I could have done another thing with those $50. Then the next two palettes I want to talk to you guys about are these by Morphe Brushes. These palettes are amazing. Oh my god. Let me just show you the colors. Like, wow. Like, look at this stuff, you guys. It's... Oh! I just love them. I can't stop, like, using them. I just freaking love them. Like, they're amazing. They're so pigmented. Palettes are so cheap from Morphe and... I'm just like, wow. This one's way more colorful. So I think this palette is going to be mostly great for like the spring and summertime when I ever want to do like these really colorful, dramatic looks. But you guys, these palettes are so amazing. I can't believe I'm finally trying out Morphe brushes. I should have tried them, <laughs> their products out a while ago. But overall, you guys, these shadows, if you guys are looking for affordable palettes or either those makeup artists out there that want something more affordable, I would say go with Morphe brushes because um, their eyeshadows are just amazing and best of all, they're very affordable. Next, I want to talk to you guys about three lipsticks. Two of them are from Too Faced, which are the new melted lipsticks. This one's in the color Chihuahua and this is in Jelly Donut, which is what I have on my lips today. So I don't think I have to swatch this one for you guys. But basically, this is such a beautiful color. I really love these liquid lipsticks, you guys. Like, no joke, they will last on your lips like the whole day. So let me go ahead and swatch for you guys Chihuahua. This is pretty much a mauve pink nude color that i just think it's great for everyday use i had these sent to me by Too faced and honestly when i saw them i freaking screamed because i've never get i have never been able to try them and i'm so glad they sent them to me i just love them so much they really stay on your lips like the whole day like no joke i the first time i got these i think i were i don't know if it was jelly donut or the other pink one that i have but literally it stayed on my lips the whole day i ate i talked i drank i did everything like a normal human and they were still on my lips by the end of the night so i really recommend these liquid lipsticks is it liquid lipstick or melted lipsticks i don't know what to call it you guys because it's kind of like a liquid lipstick it's a liquid lipstick right <laughs> then the last thing for makeup i have this other liquid lipstick you guys, I have been trying to find every excuse to wear this liquid lipstick, like no joke. Um, this is in the color Bauhaus, and honestly, I am obsessed with these liquid lipsticks. Kat Von D, I've never really tried any of their makeup stuff. Like honestly, this is my first time trying out any of her stuff. Wow, like this is the lipstick. I hate that in the viewfinder, I find it to be all the time very um, bright, but it's not. It's very dark, as you guys see. Well, and the two we can't really tell. But in person, it's really dark. And since spring and summertime is approaching, I find that if you wear dark lipsticks, it doesn't really go with the mood of the spring and summertime. So I have been using every time this lipstick because I just really want to get the most use out of it. I really want fall and winter time to come around now because I really want to wear this lipstick all like every day now. Okay, then for the last thing, and this is not makeup, but it's something for your skin. It, this is the Tarte Double Detox Amazonian Clay Exfoliating Facial Mask. Wow, that was a long name. So with this, you exfoliate your face and then you leave it on and then it's a mask and then you rinse it off. Basically, it's two things in one and it's really, really great, you guys. Like honestly, I've seen an improvement in my skin and I really love it. Um, so you're only supposed to use this once a week which I know is really hard for me because once I love something, I kind of want to use it every day. But no, I've been using it once every week and basically it just makes my skin be like a unicorn's butt. Like no joke. It feels so soft after. It is just like 
so amazing like i just feel my skin right away change really quick the cool thing about this though is that whenever you think of an exfoliating mask you feel of something roughness feeling on your skin and like you're literally like scrubbing something really hard on your skin this one it does not have that it has like these jojoba beads in it that you just feel like you're not exfoliating, but it really is. Like those beads do something to, magical to your face that it's just exfoliating them. So you kind of feel something very gentle on your skin. It just feels like these little beads. Um, they kind of feel like very... I don't know how to explain them. But you guys need to try it out. Like honestly, it feels so amazing on the skin. So yeah, that was all for my February favorites. Please let me know in the comment section what things you guys were into in the month of February. I would love to know more about your guys' products because I like finding out new products and things like that. Also, I will be going away on my honeymoon in two weeks, I believe. I will be away for a week. I'm gonna try to have some videos scheduled up for you guys. That way you guys don't miss me so much. I don't think I have anything else to say um so yeah so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and without my loves thank you guys so much for stopping by i'll see you guys all in my next video bye Mwah.